Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Essentials lab review. In this video, we're looking at lab 9.1.1.6. This is an ACL demonstration. So I already have Packet Tracer open and I already have my steps. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna just go through the steps. So part one, let's ping from PC1 to PC2. So I'm gonna bring up PC1. I'm going to bring up PC2. Because they also don't give you IPs, so I'm going to open up a command terminal for both. IP config. IP config. So on PC2, that is our IP address. So clearly you can tell it's on the same subnet, so let's go ahead and ping it. 192.168.10.11. And you'll see that the ping does work. So A is done. Let's go ahead for P, ping from PC1 to PC3. IP config. This is where you'll notice they're clearly on different networks. And depending on the rule, it may or may not allow us to do it. So just because the first one times that doesn't mean it's not going to work, because it probably just had to act to do an ARP, grab the IP address. So yeah, first one timed out. Let's do it a second time. So we do have in, in connectivity between both those networks. So were they being successful? Yes, they were. So let's ping from PC1 to PC4 and the DNS server. IP config. All right, so from my console, I want to ping PC4 30.12. Okay, so this network does not know about this guy. Let's just double check, make sure I didn't fat finger it. 192.168.30.12. Can I ping 30.1? All right, no. So this network does not know about this network. Let's try to ping the DNS server. Ping 192.168.30.12. 31.12 and again router 1 doesn't know about the networks on router 3 so why did the pings fell because again the two networks did not know about one another hence why router 1 actually was the one that was returning it because you'll notice who was sending the response 10.1 which happens to be router 1's interface all right, so let's go ahead. Let's go to start uh, part two. It wants us to hop over to R1, so I'm going to get to my CLI on R1. Uh, wants us to get into our privilege mode and show access lists. Well, right now we have one access list, 101, which is deny and a permit. What it really wanted us to do was show access list with a question mark so that we could see their setup, so their ACLs or Word. So we already did this one, which showed us our access list 101. So for an ACL to impact router operation, it must be applied somewhere. So where is it at? So I know it wants us to remove the access list, but before we get that far, show run. One of the important things to realize is that when you're doing access lists, you apply them to an interface, in or out. So here we're actually applying the ACL out. So as anything leaves R1, matching our access list, it will filter it. 
All right, so last thing it wants us to do is log in. Sorry, config T. In our global configuration mode, it wants us to remove access list 101. And it wants us to ping our DNS server once again. This time, it should work. Again, it's going to have to do an ARP request, so the first one should time out, but the remaining three should work, and there it uh, goes. Let's go ahead and check our results, and everything's right. I want to